absolutely. Let's play the near wing. <laughs> so we're underway here in the last game of round eight. And there's no winner out of that stoppage. You can see just on the left of screen this, this soggy patch of grass that will be monitored throughout the afternoon after a burst, wire, a burst pipe pre-game. And there's a free kick for high contact in the middle going the way of Newman. So the Pies look settled in these opening few minutes. Oh, that kick is smothered. It ricochets to Benici. We'll bomb it long to centre half forward. Fidel, always excellent in those situations and takes the intercept grab. Couldn't complete the mark, allows Munya to come in and give it to Jess Allen, who sends the Crows to full forward. Poncha is there against Livingston, the 75 gamer who used all of her experience to rush that behind. Yeah, 20 to half forward, Newman out to meet it for the Crows, sends it back the other way. Lovely delivery, hits Gould on the chest. Can Adelaide burn the pies on the turnover? Here's a chance, Munyard inside forward 50 and pokes it into the pocket for Ponta. Well, just a great re rebound there from Adelaide. That's what's going to be so damaging today. And Hatchard, kick is on its way. It doesn't look great off the boot, but it gets the job done and the Crows are on the board. So far coming away with Hatchard as Marinoff sends the Crows forward. Bouncing footy inside 50, Brazali got a hand to it. Ivy. Jams it on the boot. Mark was dropped by Ramos. Gould to Marinoff. Kicks to space. It's a beautiful one. And Gould can mark at the top of the square. It was really smart by Gould just to peel off that contest again when the ball was coming back out. Jordy Ivy just process to locate when they lose possession. Coming off an equal career best. Three goals last week against the Giants. Caitlin Gould comes in, makes no mistake. And the Crows have a couple. Thompson feeds it out to Mueller. Kick around the corner, just over the head of Munyard. Marinoff, Charlton, Munyard tries to take on Cronin, who caught her and will be rewarded. Rowe, caught, got the handball out. Ramos down the line, big collision coming up. Oh. Chelsea Randall. Both players so courageous against Eliza James. A bit of concern for these two players at the moment as you get a look at the replay and a clash of heads. James has come off, as has Randall. So both players to their feet immediately, which is good news, but they've both headed to their respective benches. around on the right, pumps it long, Gould will attack this, couldn't quite pull in the mark at the final moment. The Pires can look to mop it up in defence, Barnett, off to Ramos, he bombs it forward again, Chelsea Bedell, excellent work in the one-on-one. -on -one. Looking for a leading target, spot something she likes, but that's an excellently read by Lucy Cronin, it's better defensive work. To Slasher, now off to Cam, wants to use the corridor, Will this sit for Sarah Rowe? It does. She runs onto it, has to get around Prout and does so. Handball's over the top to Porter. Gathers inside 50, takes on Goodwin, sends him to full forward. And it just gets past Butler and through for a minor score. The back into Marinoff, already racking them up this afternoon. Kicks to a contest on the wing. Boyle Carr, well done by Shuddy to bring it to ground, but the Crows still emerge with it with Charlton, who puts on the afterburners, takes on Shuddy. Runs to half forward, has another bounce. Cronin applies the pressure and well done by the youngster. God, Cronin's been outstanding. To Levy, not much up ahead. We'll have to kick it to Gould in a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. And she takes the grab over Ivy. Sensational. Just the number there by the Crows. Just plus three, the Crows at that contest. They'd be up and then the ability to be able to work the ball forward. Gould dancing around Ivy on the mark, sends the Crows to full forward. Munyan, a couple of grabs at it, she reels it in. Being offensive, bringing the footy forward. She's in everything. Mueller to Newman. Exits the danger zone, but only momentarily. Marinoff to Kelly. Can they get a shot on goal? Got around one, sends it goalward, and it's going to drop just short as Barnett sees it over. To Brazali, bombs it down the line. It's not a great kick in the end. Prowse is standing in position eight. 
Charlton. Beautiful centering kick to Allen. Charlton's also had some good moments today. I like when she takes the game on, she uses her pace really well. To the top of the square, Levy stolen it from Livingston and kicks towards goal and it's just dribbled through. Just got the carry and the Crows have their third goal. When you've got the class of Adelaide too, as you're bringing in new players or younger players, Sarah, you're able to just kind of support them and guide them with the, the quality of players around them and then they can work their way into the game. And I think Tia Charlton's an example of that. Dead in front, 45 out. Caitlin Gould winds up and kicks a bomb right to the line. Frederick did well to bring it to ground. Tried to keep it alive, caught by Levy. And he's going to be penalised for holding the ball. But that's the impact of just having repeated inside 50 entries, putting the defenders under the pump. Taylor Levy, the check side from the pocket for a second goal is superb. Can Benici. Not a lot to kick to up ahead. Here you go. Well, now it's opened up for them as Butler can run into an open forward 50. She can run all the way if she wants to. She elects to kick from 40. It's going to bounce and roll through for the Pies' first goal of the afternoon. Some unbelievable talent coming through the ranks. Kids that have played junior footy their whole lives. Certainly can't wait to see the growth of this comp in the next five to ten years as Caitlin Gould takes another mark. What is she up to today? Uh, seven marks for today and five of those have been inside 50 and she's got a 50 meter so she'll take the shot from within sight took the mark outside of 50 but will actually set up and have a set shot there if you're playing along at home Gemma Bastiani sent me in a little stat that the record is seven marks inside 50 for a game Gould wants to pass it off this time to Chelsea Randall who comes storming out a full forward and takes the grab on her chest 30 out see the big bruise on her right cheek as well from that big collision earlier on Kick is on its way and it's coming back later. She snuck it home. Chelsea's on the board. Kicking the last goal of the game, Chelsea Randall. And you're right, Shy. It's hard to imagine the AFRW without her. Ebony Mar Marinoff has been stuck on 31 disposals for about the last eight or nine minutes. And uh, it was her 101st disposal of... Uh, she's had one disposal this quarter. It's her 101st disposal in 12 days. She's oh, got 29, 41 and 31 today. I haven't had that all season. <laughs> Chance for Levy on the run, slots it through. She's got three. Adelaide just seems to find players from anywhere, don't they? Levy out of Victor Harbour as well. Right through the South Adelaide Sample W program. And this is a 50 metre penalty. She starts her approach from 50 out. It's going to go right to the line and clears the pack and through for a goal. To Rowe, who has custom and for company. We spoke about the clean kicking today, Jess. Disposal efficiency for both teams, super high. Collingwood running at 66% today. Adelaide, 70%. For the season, Collingwood are running at 55, so they're plus 11. And Adelaide have been running at 64, so they're plus 6. So a really clean game of footy. Of course, the conditions here at Victoria Park, fantastic. A little bit of wind, bit of sun. For a second goal. It's coming back late. Swing, swings back beautifully. She's got a couple, and the Crows restore a 36-point lead. I think North at the moment, just their form. And uh, mind you, depending on conditions, because I think North can be beaten quite well in wet conditions. Kelly to Marinoff. Well, she had to have a shot at goal. She kicks it to a full forward. It rolls out the back, but it was touched on the way through. There's another opportunity there for Marinoff. We know she's got a lovely... Maybe it could be Anne Hatchard. Those two love to rack up the votes. Prowse back to Marinoff. Again, we oh. speak about the delivery, and that is from the top shelf again to Chelsea Randall. Ten seconds to go. Randall pumps it to the teeth of goal. Almost a mark. Goal boots a ball. And she gets her third on the siren here at Victoria Park. Icing on the cake 
for the Adelaide Crows as they take down Collingwood by 43 points. Well, probably the best finish to the game, given the context of the game. Another mark inside forward to Chelsea Randall. Pass two by Marinoff. Just absolutely outstanding.